the straight line y is equal to 8 minus 2x intersect straight line y equal k x exists and y exists at point p, q, r respectively. Okay, given the area. Alright, so now we need to know how the, gra uh, how the graph look like. So we have y is equal to 8 minus 2x. So uh, y is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 8 minus 2x. 2x is equal to 8. x is equal to 8 divided by 2 which is 4. So we have 4, 0 here. And then when x is equal to 0, so we have y is equal to 8 minus 2, 0. So y is equal to 8. So now we have 0, 8. Now we have two points. So we know the graph intersect at here, 0. So this is 8 and this is 4 because this one is 4, 0. And this one is 0, 8. So you can see here, So you can see here intersect the straight line x axis and y axis at P, Q, R. So we see here, so this is the straight line. So it's intersect y is equal to k. So we see y is equal to k is P. So this one is P. And then x axis, here is the x axis which is Q. And then R is the y axis. Y axis R. All right. Area of O P R is twelve units. So this is the O origin. So this is R. This is P. So O P R is supposed to be here. So we know this area is twelve unit. So to know area. So we know area is equal to half, and then. If triangle, we need three points. So, for example, if I start from O, then I need O, R, P, and O back. So, this is X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3, and then I need to go back to X1, Y1. So, like this. So, it will be easier if I, it will be easier if I take O because O is 0, 0, and anything multiplying by uh, 0, you will get 0 lah. So now you have this one, this is 0, 0 and you need to know what is point P. So you see here, you don't know what is X yet and you know this one intersect K, so this one is K. So you see here, Y is equal to K intersect to this point which means this line is Y is equal to 8 minus 2X since Y is equal to K. So we know K is equal to 8 minus 2X. Now we can get this X. So, 2x is equal to, so we bring x here and then here, 8 minus k, x is equal to 8 minus k divided by 2. So, this point is 8 minus k divided by 2. Now, the area is 12, right? So, 12 is equal to half. Now, point 1 here is 0, 0. Point 2, I take 0, this one is 0, 8. Third point is p, p is 8 minus k divided by 2 and then k and then the last point is o back because i come back to o this one is 0 0 so here you can bring 2 to here so you get 24 is equal to modulus so this one is 0 times 8 0 0 times k 0 this one times this one is 0 and then 0 minus so 0 times 0 0 so below to above minus right so this one minus 8 times 8 minus k divided by 2 and then k times 0 is 0. So you ended up with this. So you see here, since we have modulus, so we will end with positive. So 24 is equal to 8. 8 minus k divided by 2. So you can cut this one off, we get 4. So you can see that 8 minus k. Okay, 4 is equal to 24. Which means 8 minus k is equal to 24 divided by 4. 24 divided by 4 which is equal to 6. So, K is equal to 8 minus 6. So, you see here, you bring K here and you bring 6 here, which is equal to 2. So, K is equal to 2. Now, you know K is equal to 2. So, the coordinate of P. So, you know P is equal to, so here, 8 minus K over 2 and K. So, if... K is equal to 2. 
then P is equal to so 8 minus 2 over 2 and then K so 8 minus 2 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 and K is 2 so this is the point P is 3 2